Hi, I'm WTOP film critic Jason Fraley, and for the entire month of August, we're ranking the best movies in every single genre, including today breaking down the greatest biopics of all time. Now, with all these genres, one of the biggest challenges was how do you define a biopic, per se, versus another genre? For instance, Raging Bull could have gone in sports movies, but I decided to put it in biopics here because unlike Rocky or Remember the Titans, where it's more about the action in the ring or on the field, Raging Bull is more about the rise and fall of Jake LaMotta, uh, more so out of the ring as well as in the ring, going from a chiseled fighter to a cheap fat failure at a cheap nightclub. So I put that here. For instance, Hidden Figures. I went with biopics because it was more about these three pioneering women than it is, let's say, a 2001 A Space Odyssey, which is more sci-fi. A lot of these biopics tackle what, let's say, gifted and talented individuals through history, like Helen Keller in The Miracle Worker, Alan Turing in The Imitation Game, Daniel Day-Lewis in My Left Foot. We also have A Beautiful Mind with Russell Crowe. And then, of course, I think, which is going to make the top three here, The Social Network. I love David Fincher directing an Aaron Sorkin script. And to me, Jesse Eisenberg as Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg. I don't think he ever had a better role than that fast-talking genius. You'll also notice the middle of the list has a lot of music biopics because that's the best place to put these. They're not exactly musicals like Singing in the Rain, we'll get to that later, but they go in the biopic category. So that's where we get Jamie Foxx's Ray, we get Walk the Line, we get Coal Miner's Daughter, and movies like Straight Outta Compton. We get a lot of the music biopics, they seem to fit the best here. Now, as we get into the top 10, you'll notice a lot of social change martyrs. And I wanted them into the top 10 because these are the biopics, these are the biographies, these are the lives worth imitating. So we get Malcolm X, we get Lincoln, we get Martin Luther King in Selma, we get Ben Kingsley as Gandhi, and we also get, of course, Gospel According to St. Matthew with Jesus, the ultimate of the social change martyrs. Now, in choosing a biopic that's going to top the list, I was so close to picking Raging Bull because of Martin Scorsese's genius in-ring action, the way Thelma Schoomaker cuts that thing together and the ring size changes according to how he symbolically feels during his lifetime. But ultimately, I put that at number two, and I gave the edge to Schindler's List. It's hard to go against this Holocaust uh, epic drama by Steven Spielberg, the first to win in Best Director. You know, a lot, some of the Holocaust movies I ended up putting in with the prison category if they focus more on the captivity part, like let's say Son of Saul or Life is Beautiful or even Sophie's Choice. But for this, uh, it's more about the band behind it who started his own, not even concentration camp, but a safe haven, a work camp that he was a Nazi who saw the light. So he created a, a, a camp so that he could save millions of Jews from the Holocaust. Now, Oscar Schindler is performed by the great Liam Neeson, I think, in his career role, but we also get Ray Fiennes as Eamon Goth, one of the most sinister villains of all time, and of course, Ben Kingsley as, as Schindler's sidekick typing up the list. He says the list is the ultimate good, the list is life, and in the end, Schindler, the ultimate biopic, says, I wish I could have saved just one more person. Can't forget the girl in the red jacket amidst all the black and white cinematography. And of course, John Williams' heart-tugging score to me make this the best biopic. You can see all of my top 25 biopics on WTOP.com's entertainment page. Tune in tomorrow as we break in the best comedies of all time and get ready to laugh.